So I um, came out here with my grinder. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about the, uh, <clears throat> my sinus is draining. Um, I did my first pass on this plate for the stove I'm trying to make here. And it just reaffirms how thick this stuff is. Um, the first pass probably went about halfway. And uh, I'm going to hit it again, see here if I can make progress and go right straight through it this time. And then I figured any small pieces I probably can get it with my Dremel tool. But I thought the majority of it should be done with the grinder since this is such, um, such a thick piece of steel. Okay. Let me hook it back up to the uh, <clears throat> the clamp and get it. My trepidation's killing me. I ended up um, flipping the plate over. I took a marker and I put a line on where I could see uh, the marks of the blade trying to come through, I guess I want to say. And I hit them all one more time and still haven't broke through as far as I can tell. Um, it's my nerves, I'm sure. Because like I said, I'm really um, have trepidation about what it's going to be like once the blade breaks through that steel and hits the wooden table. Um, I'm being overly cautious. Realizing that I had basically cut almost all the way through, all the way around, and not wanting to um, destroy this plate by overcutting, I just took a screwdriver here and started whacking it with a hammer because um, it was so thin that that was enough to just snap the rest of the... Um, part that was holding on and in fact shouldn't be doing this because the edges are incredibly sharp but I just wanted to show you that I could get to this stage now where I can just bend this piece out and uh, there we go success and all I gotta do is file this all out and make it all nice um, probably anybody else out there who's handy with tools would have did that probably the first try but like I said I was just very cautious because I've never used a grinder I was very cautious because uh, of what's going on around me. I set the steel wool on fire, dropped the camera on the ground. I tend to have accidents. And uh, I also wanted to be careful I didn't go past the corners too, too terribly. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. So now I got... Could...